Richard Christie was telling me during the break that he used to beat off to. What did you beat off to, Richard? The first time I ever had like an actual orgasm, I didn't even touch myself. I was looking at a Bass Pro Shops catalog. They were advertising. A uh, an inner tube, and it was just a woman holding an inner tube that was for sale in the catalog. <laughs> and all of a sudden, like he came, uh, yeah, this weird feeling came over me. I was like, "What the hell's happening?" And I literally, I think I passed out, and I woke up, and there was a mess all over myself. <laughs> oh, and I was like, "What was that?" Yeah. Wow, and you're then, a real man. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you know, kids have it easy these days. Like you said, it's whatever you can mm. find back in the day. My dad had a subscription to this magazine called Fur Fish and Game. And it was a hunting magazine, but they that one of the issues had an ad for a boat and it had two women in bikinis like way in the background of the boat. And, and <laughs> yeah. that was material for like a year. We were like little Indiana Joneses when we went through puberty when I was a kid because we used Indiana to break Joneses. in Yeah, going to find dirty magazines out in the wild. Like we'd <laughs> break into there were rock quarries in Kansas. And we knew, like, all the guys that drove the heavy equipment were kind of pervs, and, you know, they were they were unsavory characters. So we were like, oh, they had to have hidden dirty magazines in those road graders and all that equipment. So we'd break into the rock quarry at night with flashlights, and sure enough, under the, the front end loader, the seat, there'd be a pile of dirty magazines. Look at you. And, all right. Yeah. Like the FBI. Look, you you know are where to... an adventurer. Yeah. <laughs> tractors. Yeah. We'd find them in tractors all the time, I guess. Yeah. You're He's not lying, because... I I found a nudist magazine laying on the in the bushes in Roosevelt. I knew there was a corner where weird shit must have gone on a house <laughs> boulevard in Roosevelt, Long Island. Oh my god! I used to buy used dirty magazines at the pawn shop when I lived Ooh. in Missouri, and yeah, that's, literally that's like dark. The, the pages would be stuck together. You get I like imagine. five of them for a dollar. It was a great deal. <laughs> <laughs>